and I, I should have died last night, but I heard the voice of, hey, it's Mercutio. What's he doing on the beach? Hey, hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. Will do. Okay, give me this equipment and info. Um, ah, I already have those things. Although I did use up all my shotgun ammo for some reason. So, uh, might as well refill a bit. Thank you, Mercutio. Uh, do you know anything about this, this boat I'm visiting? Anything I can do for you tonight? I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. I'll close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. Cool. And uh, I take it that's LaCroix's blood you've got in you. Hey, it probably stinks. Concerning? I don't know. Not right now, actually. I'll get info from him later. Right now, I'm here to visit the Elizabeth Dane. And the Thin Bloods. Hi, Thin Bloods. Bye, Thin Bloods. I have a date with more destinies than yours. Let's recap Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This is a cargo ship, the Elizabeth Dane. I uh, hope that's a sunset. <laughs> anyway, cargo ship anchored off Los Angeles, California. I've been sent here by Prince LaCroix because, although the ship turned up a dock, all the people on it did not, or something. Some kind of weird, mysterious crap has gone on, and it's possible that, for example, uh, maybe an elder vampire in a sarcophagus of theirs might have uh, killed them all or something. Anyway, the cops are here because it's a crime scene. Ah, oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. I don't know. Jeez, what kind of wood steam? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? Were no. they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Um, I don't know whether I need to keep this guy on site or not because I've completely forgotten whether this is actually one of the Prince's agents. Uh, was I meant to meet this guy on a boat? I don't know. All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Okay. Hold up a sec. Hines to Marsh. Hines to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Cool. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Understood, policeman. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? The maybe? Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Okay. Yeah, um... I'm not 100% sure that I'm who you think I am, but... It's all good. Heinz to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. That's a lot of blood. Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. It's like a yeah. surprising amount of blood. Hmm. Whatever something did happen on this ship. Oh jeez. Even more blood. 
Okay, so there's the guy that's been uh, called off. So I go in behind him. Sadly, I don't get to see the whale myself. And now I'm looking for the security room. Up the stairs, this is probably it. What are my objectives here again? Examine the sarcophagus, find out what the police have discovered, and take the cargo manifest for the ship. Alright, I've got, uh, got the police report here. Despite strong evidence of amazing physical violence, not a single body has been found, no survivors have been located, and there are no signs of large-scale theft. That's interesting. Jeez, there's blood everywhere. It's making me thirsty. Security room. Alright, I should be able to get the manifest here. And then I've just got to examine the sarcophagus. Why am I sinking? Oh, I see. I'm on a, I'm on a ship. Weather? Calm. Status? Fine. Log? Apparently lighthouse is not the password there. But for here it is. Uh, unlock doors. Deck cams on. Cool. And what about log? Let's see if I can hack this. Hmm. So if lighthouse is the password for one section of the computer. What? What the hell? What was that? Why is this happening? This is not okay. Who's even... That guy is for some reason... I guess because I came out of stealth and he saw me through the window or something? That's bullshit man, I'm looting the game. That is not okay. I don't know why that happened. But I also don't approve of it. Okay, this time I will not stand up from a crouch even when I'm standing inside a totally opaque room. Sometimes the world is buggy, I guess. Okay. Been here before. So, let's uh, unlock the doors. And I do want to look at that log, so let's try and guess a password. I was hoping to take inspiration from these magazines. Yeah, so standing here for some reason, you see how my stealth meter's gone up to 56? I'm guessing that if you stand on this object, then for some reason people can see you from outside. Lighthouse. Lighthouse, lighthouse. I'm looking for some sort of media in this room that's associated with lighthouses. Hmm. Nothing springs to mind. Though, uh, what I will do is try Auspex to increase my hacking powers. Antonio Bay. Huh. Alright. Let's have a look at the ship's logs. Entry 1. Water's calm, Professor Johansson. Safety of the sarcophagus. That's a name I've heard before. Rough waters, operations normal, telling ghost stories. Situation normal. 
two of the crew gone missing, something wrong with the radio. The crate holding the sarcophagus has been opened. Blood on the upper and lower decks, three more of the crew missing. The Turk in his cabin muttering something indecipherable, the radio technician. And the final log entry here. I can hear that police officer sniffing repeatedly. This ship is cursed. May it sink to the crushing depths of Davy Jones' locker before they're in the room. Well, that's promising. Okay. I'm still going to need this manifest and look at the sarcophagus. This may or may not be a good way to proceed out here. That would take me out onto the main decks. But uh, the ship's manifest is likely somewhere inside. I've become stuck on the terrain. I've experienced more bugs in this level than the rest of the game so far. Anyway, so I've unlocked the doors using the computer. What I'm hoping is that this will give me access to, for example, manifest. Is that... Yes. Alright. And car and site transport to Los Angeles. And car and sarcophagus. Three crates, pottery tablets. One box unidentified. Hmm. Okay. Now to reach the sarcophagus itself. This could take a while. Thankfully, I stopped by my Santa Monica Haven and prepared a podcast before I left. Did you miss me? Judging by the way the boards lit up, I'd say you couldn't have been like, You make me feel so desirable, LA. So many callers, so little time. If you don't get through to me tonight, don't let it break your heart. I'm here each and every AM. So keep dialing those magic numbers and just maybe you'll be as lucky as a booth caller. What's your name, Night Owl? Hello, Dibba. This is Greg. Hello, Greg. Up late, aren't we? Thank you, Greg. Well, I imagine if you was half as pretty as your voice, then uh, you're the prettiest woman in the city. Aren't you the gentleman? Uh, I imagine you a lot, Deb. Uh, like I said, I'm all by myself, and it does get lonely. Sometimes a man can't help himself, uh, especially when I hear you. It's like you hear startling my... Greg, there's a little thing called too much information. Caller, you're whiling away the evening with a dead of night. Good evening, dead. Yes, I think that's implied by the title of the show. <laughs> Do you ever worry, Deb, that the world is going to end? I haven't felt that way since Brad Pitt got married. You say that to all the girls. There is a red star in the night sky. The blood of mortals and the blood of ages all will be consumed. They are coming. These are the final nights. Okay, well, good luck in the next election, Senator. Apologies to all you night owls out there, but this girl's got something she's got to take care of for the next few minutes. Here's a little music to keep you up. And the rest is all ads. Now about that sarcophagus. Yes. Ankara's in Turkey, right? 
Why is the sarcophagus in LA? They do have an archaeological establishment over there. I'd like a closer look, but I'm not sure that I need one. That is a sarcophagus, all right. Oh shit. And there's a bunch of blood on it. And yes, the shipping container looks, um... Well, it looks like something broke out from the inside. But the thing is, the box is closed now. What are these figures? That's uh, about as close as seems advisable. Get out of here. LaCroix will have to be content with a description that yes, there was a crime scene, yes, it did look supernatural, no, they didn't find any bodies. Except I'm not actually gone, gone, but you know, I'm going. Hmm. Well, this would have been a good way in, not so much out. That guy's coming straight for me. But he's blind. Hey, what's this? Records room key. Rotate. Crane release. It doesn't seem like a good way to remain unnoticed. Although, if I was really stuck traversing the environment and had less stealth, it would have been a... What? Did I just yell, hear someone yell, stop right there? I thought I did. Oh shit. What are they doing here? That's my guy. Has he sold me out? That fucker. I guess Jacobson didn't pay enough. What the heck though? This poses an issue. back inside or is this, this one? Oh this is cutting it close. Some kind of symbol. Uh, are you guys in touch with deep water, MVMC or who? What do we have here? Not immediately familiar. Well look damn it, this is something we need to get it squared away before anyone puts any stakes down. 
I mean, look, this will save all of us some work later if we get this shit squared away now, okay? Agreed? We go through this every goddamn time. All right, fine. If we find out, it'll save us all some trouble. Oh, okay. It's nothing local. No similarity to any local gang signs I know. I didn't know if the Coast Guard would know. Perhaps it was associated with any pirate organizations. It's a bunny, huh? A symbol. It's a bunny. How do I get out of this place without running into more cops? Aha, this is where I came in. Oh shit, I mistook um, one of the officers for this one. <laughs> You've been a victim of model reuse, um, Jacobson's employee, whatever your name is. In reality, we are cool. We're cool, okay. I'm done. You waiting for your chauffeur to pull around the dinghy? That would be nice. All right, my work here is done. Back to LaCroix. Back to LA. The Ancaran Sarcophagus. Well, either it does or it does not contain a big fuck off elder vampire. But certainly, someone in or around it uh, killed or took away all those people. Certainly bad news for someone. I want a second street here. Hmm. Well, I've done LaCroix's job. Let's see about what he promised me. Where to? Just drive. Ah. Uh. Hey. I know this might seem creepy and all. But please, don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to oh, help man. you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not wearing you out or anything, am I? N no, but how did you find me? Only because of you, what you did for me. Here, I I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. It can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Oh wow, the power of blood. This is how Patty must have started. Yeah, that, I mean, I guess it wasn't a mistake since she'd be dead otherwise, but... What do you mean? You're like, you're like, the effect you had on me made me want to live. It's all because of you. You saved my life. Please, let me be of use to you. I'll do whatever, I don't care. But there must be something else. Hmm. I guess I want to see where this is going. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money. I'll get you things. Everything. I don't want to be important to you. I am seriously conflicted here. It is not a nice thing to make people dependent on your blood but I mean it's not really dependence at this point but it's look what a single drink has done to her it's uh, it's saved her life but also we don't even know each other and yet she wants nothing more than to please me 
The question is, what's more important here? Being nice? Or being cool? I don't think I can take responsibility for this. You are not gonna have a nice time if you try to hang around with vampires, Heather. You don't mean that. I know you need me. Just, just let me see oh, you man. for a little while. And if you still don't want me around, if you tell me to go, I'll go. I promise. The trouble is that she's already kind of one drink and she's already addicted and will not. And now she's guilt tripping me. Okay, but I'm going to need to decide when this ends. Where's she even going, Santa Monica? Can she find me because of my blood? That's kind of dangerous. Well, the good news about having... Uh, a curse running in your veins. Yeah, let's see what we got on good old camera. Oh, oh well, my god. Be quiet, chunk. Ain't no, this about you. Uh, oh, yeah. oh god, no, no, no. no. Then make my way I down to your dig 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 um, are you finished with your fantasy, dude? Hey, Missy, you back to see Mr. LaCroix again? Yes. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. I wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. That's an interesting interpretation. I've said all I need to for now. Whoa. That's Strauss, a Nosferatu. A woman I don't know, a man I don't know, but that guy was at the theater. Who are these people? I walk the halls of power and uh, will not be a supplicant in them further, I think. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the <laughs> bullet points of what you saw. Yeah, dude, you are the last person in the world who does not have time for a monologue. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Blood. Open. Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in. The parade of malingering molly couples filing out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Those were the primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into what? and have him contact us. I'm not going to go and just look up some guy. Each minor problem, like a grain of sand. Each night, I inherit the desert. It's the seemingly insignificant, time-consuming trivialities that plague my night. Which is why, when I assign you a simple task, I only want to hear unbridled vehemence on your part. Understood? No, not understood. Absolutely not. Well, you took this on yourself when you declared yourself Prince of Los Angeles. The Anarchs were apparently doing quite fine without a prince, and uh, if you want somebody to run errands for you, you can look somewhere else. I'm assigning you something that can't be screwed up. Charitably. This is your chance to gain a small but significant amount of my good graces back. 
I strongly back. urge you to accept. I've done nothing but be useful. <laughs> I strongly urge you to go fuck yourself. Go see Grout. I will go see Grout. Yes, uh, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. Huh. Well, I'd better go and take care of that immediately. A paranoid bent. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Indeed I will. The Malkavian Primogen. Well... That is interesting. It explains certainly why those other guys were also worried. I wonder. So that must have been the Nosferatu Primogen, and um, Strauss is of course the Tremere. Who did the others represent? You can see why the prince cares about this, all right. Well, of course I'll take care of his task immediately after a recording break. <laughs>